Welcome back everyone to another video and in this video I'll be talking about SAT June results. But before that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community platform that has thousands of classes where you can explore your curiosities and your interests. These classes have no ads, so you can spend uninterrupted time watching these classes and learning whatever information you want to learn. Currently, I'm watching coding classes to prepare myself for this upcoming semester of college where I'll be taking some really hard CS classes and Skillshare has so many classes that are computer science related that it helps so much. And since I love Skillshare that much, I actually created a course on Skillshare where I teach people how to create checkout bots where they can get PS5s, other consoles, sneakers, etc. Now that course is only available for premium members, but thanks to Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of premium membership of Skillshare. So you guys will be able to watch my course and all the other amazing courses on Skillshare. And by the way, did I mention that with a yearly subscription, it is less than $10 monthly? That is so cheap for so much value. You all have to check out Skillshare, so be sure to check the link in my description below. Now let's get into the video. So the June SAT just occurred, and based on my Discord's response, for those who don't know, I have an academic Discord, and one of the channels slash categories is SAT related. So people talk about, you know, how the SAT exam was. And based on what they've said, the common sentiment is that the SAT June wasn't that bad. And if you guys watched my last SAT video, I talked about how the June SAT historically has a really hard curve, meaning like if you get two questions wrong, then you may get like 50 points off which is very true. And I remember last year or the year before, people wanted the June SAT recurve just because of how harsh the curve was. And now based on the sentiment of this SAT, what you all have to understand is that people were saying that the SAT was very easy. Now, what does that mean? If the SAT itself, if the actual exam is very easy, that means students' scores, their raw scores will be pretty high. So that sets up a curve that may be a little harsh once again. So what this means is that if you get like one question wrong in the math section, you may end up with a 770, whereas in other years, you may end up with a 790 or even 800. Now this is nothing to panic about because people spend too much time thinking about the curve, but what they don't realize is that you should be focusing on doing the best you possibly can because if you do the best you possibly can, good curve or bad curve, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's based on how you perform. The curve is based on the scores of the mass audience, but you only care about your own score. So hopefully you do the best you could and let the curve do what the curve does. You can't really blame the curve. You don't really have to worry about it much. You just gotta wait and see how your scores will be. Now, when do scores come out? Scores usually come out, I think two to three weeks after the exam date. So you can expect your scores around June 20th. I'm sure College Board put up an exact date as to when you can expect your scores to release. But if they haven't, then I would say two to three weeks is pretty much the wait time every single year. So what should you do with telling that? Should you stop studying for the SAT? Should you relax or should you keep studying maybe for the August SAT? What I personally recommend, now this is for me and this is for um, anyone who thinks that they have a pretty good foundation for the SAT. What I recommend is that you take time off. Honestly, don't touch the SAT to, again until you get your scores back because there is no July SAT. Right? So you have a whole month of preparation, regardless if you start now or you start after you get your June SAT scores, to actually prepare for the SAT. So just use that month of July to prepare for the SAT and you'll be fine in August. So how do you prepare for this August SAT? Well, you have to go in the mindset that you failed your June SAT if you are studying a little earlier. You want to pretend that you just failed the June SAT and you want to study really well for the August SAT. So what I recommend is practicing math, practicing reading, and change them every single day. If you need tutoring, then check out Smart Minds Tutoring, link in the description below. And if you need some SAT math notes, be sure to check out the link in the description below where I instruct you how to get SAT math notes in case your SAT math skills are a little weak. And if you want to talk to other people about the SAT, maybe get your emotions and your feelings out, then you should join my Discord link in the description below because yes, you can go on Reddit, but Reddit, sometimes College Board gets kind of angry Reddit users. And you don't want to make College Board angry. Obviously, my Discord is a very safe place where nothing bad happens. So be sure to check that out. Plus, Reddit takes so much time to actually get responses and send messages. So I hope you all did well on the June SAT. And even if you didn't, you always have the August SAT to make a comeback. If you are a rising senior, then you honestly don't have to worry about what, how you did on June SAT because you have the August SAT and SAT scores are due in like October slash November, sometimes January, depending on what type of admission you're doing for college. So don't sweat about it. You always have the August SAT. If anything, the June SAT can serve as a, okay, this is where I'm at in terms of SAT. And from that point on, you can plan forward on how you're going to do the best you possibly can 
on your next SAT. So be sure to check out Skillshare, guys. Be sure to check out my Skillshare course. Be sure to check out Smart Minds Tutoring, my Discord, my SAT Math Notes. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all crushed it. Peace.